hey everyone welcome back to another video so in this video we'll take a look at how you can create this kind of effect in react 3 fiber so you can see it is a pretty cool effect and you can see it is a glass kind of effect and you can actually see the stars from inside of this text you can see and in this video we'll see exactly how you can do this it is very simple and very quick to make so if you don't know what react 3 fiber is it is just 3js for react okay so if you don't know what 3js is it is like a library to add 3D elements or 3D models into your website. And if you know a little bit of 3JS, it will be fine. And, and if you don't know any of 3JS or in any of React or any React 3 Fiber as well, don't worry. It will be a very, very simple video and very quick video as well, about like 10 or 12 minutes long. So let's head to the VS Code and see how it is done. And you can see you can also change the color of the text and you can add whatever text you want. So you can add your name. And you can add this kind of effect in your portfolio as well. It will look very cool. So let's head to the VS Code and see how it is done. And trust me, it is very simple and very quick to make. So let's see. All right, guys. So I am on my VS Code right now, and you can see I have a like pre-written code for my About page in my portfolio, and it is just nothing, okay? Because it just have a S2 tag, and it, it looks something like this. You can see we have a hello tag and a hello text in our page. And we will now add the React 3 Fiber and also the 3D text. So before that, we need to add some dependencies. Okay. So the first dependency is npmi React 3 Dway. Okay. So slash Dway. And the second one is similar to it. React 3 Fiber. Okay. So only these two dependencies you need to install in order to get started with R3F. So hit enter so let it download and after downloading it we will get back all right so after downloading it i have also started my react application so now let's import them so i will import some dependencies from the libraries that we have just installed so i'll just quickly paste all these so you can see from react 3 fiber i'm taking this canvas and from dwe i'm taking all these things so the center text 3d environment orbit controls mesh transition transmission material float and stars so make sure to add all these things in your file as well all right so we are good to go now so first of all i will make a function over here at the end of our file and i will name it let's say canvas okay canvas func and i will add this function instead of this h2 tag so just like that okay and remove this so yeah so in this way we have created a function and we have called it inside our JSX now we need to write some code in this canvas before that we need to define the 3d text so let's make another function called function text you can name it anything you want and it will be like it will take some arguments so the first thing will be children then config okay um, oops so config and then the main part is the font so to get the font you can either download it or install in your like add in your fold folder structure or you can just add a json like me because we i have also added a json file you can see this one intermedium regular.json you can get this json online uh, wherever you want so you can get this uh, json file and add it in your public directory over here so now i will just add this file in our font so i will write over here slash inter uh, medium underscore regular and dot json okay and make sure the i is capital all right and one more attribute which is all the props if you have added any other props it will go like this after that let's write the function so here it will return something okay all right so it will return a ghost tag so i will just write a ghost tag inside this i will write the element for our react fiber so the first element will be group so this group is nothing is just used to hold 
multiple 3D elements inside it or multiple tags used in R3F. That's it. And like 3D is as a div in which you add multiple elements. So that is what it is. So the next thing is center. Here's what I will write. First of all, I will write scale. How big you want the uh, text to be. So I will write over here 0 0.8, comma 1, comma 1. Then the front, right front, then top to see it at. Okay. And then top to see them. And then underscore uh, dot 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 props. And then close the tag. That's it. And inside the center. So what this center tag does is just ensure that your element or the 3D element is at the center. It is not necessary. You don't need it. If you can, like if you want, you can uh, ignore this tag over here. But it is used to keep the model or keep the 3D element at center. The next tag is important, which is text 3D. So this is the exact text that we are going to use to add the 3D element or 3D text. So it will take a children called children, which we have just created. And also inside this, we will also create a new material called mesh transmission material. All right, and it will be a self closing tag. In this, I will just pass a variable which I will make right now called config. Don't worry, we will make this variable. Okay, so just write config for now. Also, we need to uh, uh, like pass some arguments in this 3D text. So, it will take some arguments. The first one will be the font which we have just added. So, what font it will be? So, it will be font which we have just added right here. Okay, so this thing is here then scale so how big we want the text to be so let's write over here three then letter spacing so how much space you want between each of the letters so i will write over here minus 0 0.3 then height of it and i will write over here small number let's say 0 0.25 then i will write over here bevel enabled so in this way your text will be smooth okay so make sure to do this and i will write over here bevel size I will write over a small number, let's say 0 0.02 and then bevel segments. So make sure to keep the segments low because it can crash your app or like lag your PC. Then we also want to write some curve segments to make it more smooth. So I will write over a higher number, let's say 128 and then lastly bevel thickness. So give it a low number as well, let's say 0 0.01. That's it. Our text function is ready now. Now let's create the this variable over here which we are like which I was talking about. Alright, so let's make the config variable. I will come in the canvas function and here I will do the same thing dot 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 config and then I will pass some variables over here. The first thing is the back side. So what do you mean by back side? It will just uh, know that the back side of the 3D text is true so that you can also see the back side of the text. Otherwise, it will just show nothing over here. Then backside thickness. And you also want the thickness of how thick it will be. So here I will write 0 0.3. So give it a low number. After that, you want transmission. So these are some like properties for adding the glass effect. So just copy as it is. And then thickness. Let's write over here the low number as well. Let's say 0 0.3 then chromatic and chromatic aberration okay and this will be value of 5 then IOR this is important this is the main part to give it a glossy look so let me just check the spelling of all of these aberration okay so yeah and yeah I think we are good to go now one more property is there which is of color but this is optional you if you can if you want you can leave it empty over here okay but for now i'll just give it a random value of let's say 9b um 81e okay and add it in quotes for now i'll just commit it out all right after declaring the config variable come down over here and then this function will also return something so in return, I will write the canvas, which is the main tag to add all the elements. So in this canvas only, our whole scene will lie. So this is very important. 
and in this i will create an argument called camera and it will take a position of an array like this so 0 comma 0 comma 6 so this will be the position of my camera then i will add an element of let's say float this tag is responsible to a movement for the movement of like the automatic movement of the text which i have shown you earlier so in this way it will just float in this space i will write the speed of it zero then intensity of one then i will make another text or another tag called text inside it i will write the actual text so you can write it over here anything so let's write some let's say twd you can write it your name or anything you want so config here it will take some argument config and pass the variable of config otherwise your code will not work then the position it is optional because you have just created like just define the position oh, okay so you haven't created the position here so yeah so this is important then then you have to define the position over here of uh, here your text will lie in the 3d scene then minus let's say 1.5 oops 1.5 and then 0 so this will be a correct position then to add the stars you just have to write stars that's it and your stars will be there and the number of stars you can control by this function count let's say 400 stars and the speed of the blink if you noticed uh, the stars were blinking as well so the speed uh, the speed will be 5 the saturation as well will be 0 so that's it and you can guess it like you can see how easy it is to like add 3d elements in the reactive fiber with this just one tag you have added multiple number of stars in your 3d scene how cool it is the next thing is the environment otherwise your text will not be visible at all environment it will be a self closing tag make sure then i will write over here um, preset of city you have multiple option you can see you have multiple option to uh, select from i will select city then I will write over here blur value of let's say 0.5 that's it after that let's add an access helper to just let's see if our uh, like 3d scene is actually working or not or like see where the center of our 3d scene is I will make an argument of let's say 50 and this will be a closing uh, like self closing tag as well lastly I will add orbit control this is optional it is used to like control or like move the things around in the scene that's it we are done now i think yeah we are done we have called this function over here we have written everything we want so yeah so let's see now our scene and i will reload it and okay so it is giving me some error let's see what is the error is so inspect console the arcs property must be an array okay so yeah so here arcs I will write it in an array okay that's it save it again and uh, let's see the already so yeah so yeah our text as you can see it is there and it is looking very cool okay so let us close this console so yeah our text is looking way cooler and you can see the background as well from here it is a city we have said you can see there is a some reflection of the building as well in the text over here because the environment is set to city and the stars as you can see they are blinking at a speed of 5 which we have just set so let's remove this axis from here and also let's change the city um, let's say to warehouse and see how it will affect so let's so yeah, as you can see the warehouse effect is completely different and you can see the color of it just completely change and you can see to add some more colors you can uncomment that color attribute over here so let's do that let's see now let's reload it okay so nothing is happening okay so the reason was it was not adding the color to is because i haven't added this e yet so before it was this so just add an e to make it an actual color code so you can see how it looks like you can see there is some purple tint going on and you can like add a simple value over here let's say red if you just write over here red 
it will apply of color of red on top of that environment so you can see now how it is looking like you can see how cool uh, the glass effect is looking and you can like change the color to whatever you like and also the background you can also add an hdr if you want to add a custom background okay so yeah guys i think that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and i hope you learn how you can add this cool 3d text effect and it is like floating on its own so that's it for the video guys i will see you in the next one